There's a lot to be thankful for. I had the opportunity to come out to Santa Rosa, go visit a client's house, had some damage on their rain gutter. Their rain gutter damage was pretty insequential to what the devastation is around the neighborhood. A lot of times what we have to be thankful for is coming home. Here's their home that this particular homeowner gets to come home to. On the eve of Christmas, eve of Christmas or Christmas is just giving thanks. Kind of like Thanksgiving, how much we should be grateful for. There's a lot of things that we have that we take for granted. This particular neighborhood has a lot to be not so thankful for. The fact that they had devastation with the fire, but yet they are here to rebuild. And there's a lot of community that you can feel in this neighborhood. A lot of people coming together making sure that this neighborhood is safe for the rebuild. This home here, really one of the only homes in the neighborhood that survived with very minimal damage. The home has leaf guard on it. The homeowner woke up at about 1.30 or 2 a.m. That's when they started their evacuation process. So it was very eerie and quiet. Got down the street and that's when they started hearing the popping, the booming, the banging from the fire. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of damage in the home from smoke, but really no real damage to the exterior of the home. We talk about class A fire rated roofs. That's that composition shingle roof up there. We talk about class A sidings, stucco siding. The fire did get pretty darn close to the house and it was hot enough to start melting the plastic. That used to be an underground drainage pipe, similar to this one. So you can tell how close the fire got all the way around. But the leaf guard gutters definitely helped in doing its job keeping all of this foliage that's on the ground here out of the rain gutter. The neighbor's house unfortunately did not make it and that home was fairly darn close as you can see here. The house next door unfortunately did burn to the ground. Where we did incur trauma to the gutter, where it got hot enough to melt the system. The gutter is going to be replaced for the client. You can see how many homes in this beautiful neighborhood were damaged. Give your family a big hug. Give your first responders a little high five every now and then. Those men and women really do a lot to help all of us out, make sure that we're safe. It's in situations like this that we all band together as a community and this is a great time to give them a big hug, high five, whatever it is you're comfortable doing. But also another item that you wanna make sure you have is a great safety plan for your home. How do you evacuate? How do you get out of your home? Make sure you put that in place and after watching this video, go check your smoke detectors. These people didn't even have time to hear an audible alert, but they did hear or see a little bit of flying embers. Take care everybody, be safe.